Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a beach wreath. I'm going to take two fingers in the center at the top and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a circle. So I'm going to start out curve line, curve line, all the way down, around, up, and connect. Starting right here at the top where I drew my dot, I'm going to draw a curve line. Then I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five, six straight lines. Starting down here on the left, I'm going to draw a curve line in, out, 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 connect. Now we're going to work our way around the circle drawing different things. So now I come down over here on the left and right about here I'm just going to draw a little curve line and then I'm going to draw a straight line, curve line, then I'm going to start right here and draw a curve line and attach. Jump over a little bit. Now we're going to come in and draw a slightly curved line, curve line in, jump over, curve line down, in, and now using this line we're going to draw another curve line in and attach. Now I come down again on the left and right about here I'm just going to draw a little curve line, little curve line, little curve line, little curve line, little curve line. Five if you can do it. Now using this center line I'm going to draw a curve line down on the left curve line down on the right. Come down below, curve line down on the right, curve line down on the left. Come inside and draw a curve line out, curve line in, jump over, curve line out, curve line in, curve line out, curve line in. Now starting at the top I'm going to do a slightly wavy line all the way around all those curved lines keep going and attack, connect, and then if you have room you can do another mirror, mimic that line and go all the way around, keep going and connect. Okay, now I come down to the bottom and I'm going to draw curve line out, in, out, in, connect, Come on the upper inside part and we're going to draw a curve line out, in, out, in, connect. Right about here I put a dot and then right over here on the inside I draw a slightly curved line up, down, up, down, connect. Jump down to the bottom and draw a curved line up, down, connect. I'm going to add one, two, three little curved lines. Now I'm working my way around, come over here on the bottom and we're going to draw a curved line, curved line, and then right here at the line I go curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, connect on the left, come over here on the right, curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. Come on the left and draw a curve line up, down, connect on the left, curve line up, down, on the right. Come back to the left and we're just going to draw a curve line in, curve line in on the left, curve line in, curve line in on the right. Wavy line out on the left, baby circle, wavy line out on the right, baby circle. Now I come back over here and I'm just going to draw a little curved line and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. If 
you can put one more, you can. Then I come back and I go uh, curve line in, out, connect, 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 in, out, connect. In, out, connect. Okay? Now come up here and we're going to draw a curve line out, curve line in, connect on the outside, curve line out, in, connect on the inside. One dot, curve line out, up, connect on the outside, curve line in, out, in, out, connect on the inside. And then one, two, three little straight lines. Now I come up and I'm going to make this fit the ending part. So I draw a big curve line out and then I draw a curve line up, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. Then I come on the inside and I draw a curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. I put one dot and another dot. Come on the inside of each one of these and just do curve line, 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 a lot of curve lines, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. Okay, now to finish off the inside part, I'm going to do curve lines and wavy lines that kind of envelop all of the little creatures that we just drew. Keep going and connect. And then if you have any spaces on the outside, you can just do some curved lines. Just where you have a space. Some of you will have some spaces. Some of you will have no spaces because we all draw differently. And I think that's it. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the part I like best about this project is that you can use as many colors as you can use, I mean, as you can find inside your crayon box. So I'm going to start off with pink. And this is my shell, and I'm just going to put a little bit of pink, because some of these are going to be double colored. So this is pink, and then I'm going to use... Hmm, I thought I had a purple. Oh, I do. Here it is. Oops. I'm going to come over and put a little bit of purple on my first beginning shell. Now, you can color this any way you want. These are just suggestions on what I did. I think I used red-orange on my... This is supposed to be a starfish. Hello. Then on my sand dollar, I used apricot. But if you don't have apricot, you can use a brown, a light brown, and then come in and do the outside. And like I said, I used some of these. I did double colors. I think I used orange on the inside part. It's all up to you, though. These are your kind of artistic decisions. Same thing with my fish. You can use any colors you want. I use green and then a darker green. My crab, I double colored. I used him yellow. First I did light to dark. I did him yellow and then I came in with my orange and did a little addition color over the top. And like I said, you can do them any colors you want. Then on my other shell, I did reverse. So I did this purple first. And then I came in with blue and double colored it. Okay. Then my next fish, I did a apple green. And again, you can do whatever colors you want. And I used 
regular green on the fins. And then on my octopus, the octopus, I used a red violet, but you can really do him any color you want. So I did him all red violet. And then I came in with my yellow and did all of the little curved line tentacles on the bottom. All of these. Now this is a really good coloring project, so take your time because it looks really good when you get all done. And then I came in and I did this little interior section that we drew all blue on the inside. I'm using just regular blue. You could use turquoise blue. You could use a green even. You could use a purple. This is what I used all the way in. And then if you had a little bit left over where you had little lines, curved lines on the outside, these I all did blue. So it looks like a wreath. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Here's my beach wreath all colored in ready for the summer or maybe a, this would be a good last day of school project and if you're an older kid with scissors you can always cut this out the outside and cut out the inside and actually have a wreath okay bye bye